Hi, today we are going to see how to make this kind of animation. This raining toilet paper or rubber band or any kind of material similar to cloth. And this is my flow here on the type flow. This is the setup that we are going to make. I set up the scene very fast. This is a basically just sphere that I extrude face then apply open subdiv this is a plane you can see my setup here for this time for ground colli collision i use a deflector you can go here in helpers and then use a deflector uh, so i already put a type flow so let's start it preset type flow left click you create a icon birth let's start from zero initially let's put only five shape we remove this guy add this here click here tap rotation rotation we don't want random we want the first one 90 degrees so now looks good next step let's turn it to cloth we can turn off here we don't need to see the the dots it's not interacting with our scene then we need to put a collision In collision, we want to collide with our object and the ground. So add selected. And that's the very first step. Let's see what you can do uh, to look better. First, in clothes, we can add shell to surface so it will create thickness in our shape in our type flow for those kind of simulations when things go too fast uh, it's a good practice to change the frame from one half or one fourth depending on the complexity and the speed of your particle in the scene you can go higher but this will take longer to uh, process the processing and then put a half here let's give a put 20 but you see that they are falling all straight and maybe want some variation for that we can add force force we can add here let's put one and see what will happen and then you can start to like too crazy right maybe that's what you want but that's not what we want here so sorry no change here 0 0.1 And you can keep adding this force with different parameters for so you have a better control. For example, you want the gravity to be stronger or negative, right? So like here's too fast, too strong. So zero minus zero point two. Let's check how it will look like. So you can see the difference and you can art direct your scene with that. We can just turn off. 
for example. Those you can play around with those settings. Something that in the previous video that I mentioned was more vertex in your cloak better the simulation. So we can go to the original one and apply, for example, Tober Smooth or Open Subdiv. You will take longer to process, but the cloth will be more natural. And the cool thing, I will turn off for now just to process fast, is that this interaction you can now, for example, I will turn off the flow just to animate this very fast. Don't have to wait. I will rotate here. Turn on again. And it will interact. When your scene is too heavy or too long to cache and you just want to play in real time how it looks like, uh, the good practice here the, is to create a preview but using not standard preview from 3D to the max but uh, type preview that's beautifully done. Thank you Tyson. And here you can put all kind of um, settings that previously was not possible right so let's preview until um, 120 for example just to go fast 100% from the render settings so it will create a preview and then we'll play back and saved in your folder that's a really useful tool. Now it is useful, before it was not. <laughs> so enjoy guys. Uh, if you make something with this, please uh, leave in the comment. I would love to see what you will do with that. And let me know also what you would like to see. If you didn't subscribe, please do it. It helps me. I plan to keep those videos up. So thank you very much, see you next one.